Yeah, well, I mean, Stuart and I were talking when he was pretty new here about the photography collection, and he was not familiar with Doris Ullman's work before, and when he discovered it, he was really enthused about it, and we were talking about what would be the best way to show her work, but kind of put it in a different context, kind of make it fresh, because her work is, you know, very subtle, and it's from the early part of the 20th century, and these platinum prints, and they're, you know, very delicately toned, and we thought, what could we do to bring this kind of into focus, and he really came up with the idea of pairing her portraits with Andy Warhol's portraits. And so the conversation really was, we, the museum, had not done an Allman show, like even with the significant holdings. And I think we, you, we sort of just said, wait a second, that would be a wonderful show. But I think Janie questioned, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the question was, I, like, how do we make it speak to something beyond just the sort of historical? Yeah. Like, is there some other conversation? Is there another way we could go? And I think we yeah. just, I just said, it wasn't a question of like, oh, wow, we just have them, let's put them together. But I said, you know, I have this crazy inkling, like, let's look at the Warhol portraits because they may be as, there may be a lot of similarities, but also radical departures. I mean, here's this photographer, Ullman, who I, I know photography fairly well. I was like, okay, I don't know this person. Mm -hmm. And here's the Warhol photography which is almost opposite in every way. Speedy, I mean, he's the most ubiquitous artist in the 20th century, maybe right. moving into the 21st. Uh, he's working in this very speedy Polaroid, instant, you know, kind of seemingly casual relationship. Mm -hmm. And she's schlepping this big eight by 10 camera around the landscape. <laughs> like there just seemed to be male, female, super well-known, kind of less known, wealthy, working class, let's look at it.